29, 28, 29. Uh, that family was worth over $250 million during the Great Depression. What were they? I have no idea what they did, but they gave this to their son for their uh, high, his high school graduation. Siri. <laughs> uh, after that, it was in the movie Sunset Boulevard with yeah. uh, Gloria Swanson. Sure. So I have the stills from the from the movie. Really? Well. Yeah. Wow, it's like a Riviera town car. And this everything is, I'm uh, telling you is stuff that's been told to me or that I have in yeah in in files. So you got to look through the files and really go through it just to get the get the little get extra. the history. Yeah. The Tucker is number thirty six. Um, you know the story of Tucker. Yes. Thirty six was the last one that was made in the factory before the SEC shut them down. And then the workers came back and finished up the production. So this is the actual last Tucker built under the Tucker name. They shut down the factory. Number 36. Number 36. So the very last one. Before they... Sh Were there more built after, after this? Yes. Yeah, 51. 51. So right. One, uh, 10 Goose, uh, which was the prototype. And then 50 production model, uh, 36 under the Tucker emblem, and then the 14 after the factory got shut down. Nice. Auburn. Auburn. <laughs> eight cylinder or 12? Yeah, eight. Wow. What beautiful cars though, huh? <laughs> not shabby. Definitely not shabby. You'll probably never see this anywhere except for here. Uh, the Rickenbacker Super Sport. Um, they only made one. This is it, huh? This is it. As the, the Super Sport. Fastest production car in 1927. Fastest production four seater in 1927. And Bentley. Hmm? Bentley. Rickenbacker. <laughs> uh, a couple Packers. Yeah. That's a big 12. Yep, the 12 and the 26. Yeah, those bumpers have 20 pound weights in them to dampen the ride. It works great. That's a great car. This is like a 120 or a standard eight. Is it must be a. Yeah. So then you got the DB5, two DB4s. James Bond car. Not everybody can say that, huh? All left-hand drive. Now, is this an 8 or a 12? I believe it's a 12. 12, it's, yeah, it is a 12. Yeah. This one was fully restored. Magnificent. This is probably one of my favorite cars in the entire collection. Yeah. Uh, the Delahaye, it, it is just flawless. This one won uh, Best of Class at Pebble Beach. Really? Yes. Actually, I have a couple Pebble Beach cars. The, the Rickenbacker also won Best of Class of Pebble Beach as well. Yeah. So did the Bugatti, which we'll get to. And Ray Chopron. Okay. Hmm. Wow. Uh, this one, yeah. uh, original, I think it's six, 16,000 miles, if I'm not mistaken. Interesting color, for 70, sure. It's original color, but it's not original paint. paint. There have been some touch-ups uh, around, but it is an original interior. Yeah, and with the radio, that's nice too. Most of the car, actually probably 95% of the car is original paint. Only about 5% of it is, is touch-ups. And then you have the Bugatti T57C Stelvio. So it's supercharged. Supercharged. All right. Uh, there was about 350 or 370 of them made in, in the supercharged body, if I'm yeah. not mistaken. But in all so different uh, bot, yeah. yeah. This car is it is a matching engine. The bottom pan mm -hmm. is not original, so the the pan on the bottom from from what I've read right is not it's. Two of these cars were being restored at the same time, and they switched them uh -huh. at the end. But I do have it, and this was bought from Blackhawk, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. So, Don, um, Don Williams. And I have yeah. the information of who was the restorer, and I have all that paperwork and stuff with this car. Oh. What a great car, huh? It's 
It's got a rank up there somewhere by your favorites, huh? Absolutely. This it's is a Cord 812. Yeah. And a Sportsman. Yes. Wow. This is... I just looked at some of these. Um, Premier. Wow. How big that thing is. 65 Mustang. GT, GT. yeah. Interior. Yeah. Hard to find with that with that type of interior. Well, and the GTs too, disc brake in front and yeah. This um, is an Overland chassis, and Bob Hope uh, took the chassis and did this whole thing to it. Bob and Hope did. Bob Hope, and gave it to as a gift to John Wayne for his birthday. Really? Yeah. So this car has, it's not much to look at, but it, the history behind the car is, is just what makes it what it is. <laughs> so custom built for John Wayne, happy birthday, friends forever, Bob Hope, 526-71. That's pretty wild. Texas bullshit scraper. <laughs> Isn't that funny? That is bullshit in the back. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> There's the payload. Wow. Ooh, an Edsel Citation. Cool. Hard to find these, too. In any kind of shape. Yep. A Do Chevaux. Yep. Wow. Cute with the full top. Yeah, this is... Well, you don't see them like this with this kind of top often. It's missing the top, but. <laughs> <laughs> ah, well, hey. The only Porsche in the collection. The tractor. The tractor. <laughs> Boy, this is nicely restored, this tractor. Two cylinder air cooled diesel. Kaiser Darren had one of those. Interesting <laughs> with the. See how the doors open? They slide into the front. Mm -hmm. Fiberglass cars. These were amazing cars, 12 cylinder, aluminum blocks, aluminum cars, custom coach built. Oh, you got two of them. Yeah, oh, one is a Londole top, the other one is uh, just a regular. Uh, got an open front town car and a Londole back on that. You would think would have an interesting history. Somebody. Division window. Uh, run? Brun. Brun. Brun bodied, yeah. Okay. 